Hi, I'm Cynthia. And I'm Chris. And we're the Hanye family. And for those of you who are new here, welcome. Let's enjoy some great music together. Yeah, so what do we got today for our Goonies? Today, we are going to do a little bit more of the Friday favorites that we love to do on Fridays, because, well, it's Friday. Yeah. And uh, you notice how many times I said Friday? Mm. <laughs> um, and uh, we decided we're going to do, well, I decided because it's my turn, Cheap Trick. Yeah. Uh, if you guys don't know who Cheap Trick is, well, I'm sad for you. <laughs> no, not really. Um, they're, of course, an American band. Um, they've got a, a number of hits uh, that were really popular in the 70s. Yeah. And uh, they they got along well in the 80s, and uh, um, they've still been doing some stuff from what I could, uh, from what I've been reading. We didn't really get into them till the 80s, though. That's true. And really, it was just mostly their 70s stuff that was really popular. And uh, that which I didn't know <laughs> al that album in '87, I believe it is, mm -hmm. with the flame. Yeah, that that was over popular here. The flame, I got tired of that fast. Yeah, that particular song is not my cup of tea. Yeah, it never actually was, but, but the earlier stuff was much better. Surrender, Dream Police. See, I thought that was in the 80s. That's no. I didn't know that that was from the 70s. Yeah. <laughs> I think Dream Police was 79. Um, Surrender, I think, was a little earlier than that. It only became popular in the 80s here, though, huh? Uh, that, or maybe that's just the way we experienced it. That's the way we experienced it, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> it probably mostly because you were in my hometown at the time. Mm, I was here until 84. Five. Was it 85? 80, yeah. No. Yes, I was here until I was 11. Oh, you're right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, maybe. But, uh, yeah. That's <laughs> it was, funny. It was an interesting uh, time. I mean, a uh, whole pile of transitions here and there. But, uh, yeah, this band was really, really good. Uh, I really enjoyed their their overall style a dream police i thought was brilliant yeah mm. it definitely was yeah. <laughs> so we should get into this one this one's called if you want my love now this is an 80s one mid 80s i think okay early 80s early 80s i think it's 83 i'm not sure yeah read it earlier i forgot All so right. uh, we're gonna get into it now this is cheap trick if you want my love
<laughs> this is fantastic. It's really good. Just the way that the video is being done is making me giggle. Oh, yeah. Like the drummer is smoking. Oh, he's always smoking. And the whole room is starting to fill with smoke. Yeah, I don't think it's his smoke, though. That'd be weird. But that's what they're trying to get at, I think, is oh, yeah. that he's smoking and the whole room is filling with smoke. Maybe. And the lead singer's vocal got a little rough for a minute there, and I was wondering if that was partially due to the smoke. <laughs> That'd be weird, right? Oh, my gosh. And the guitar changing. He was smoking so much in the studio that he... <laughs> <laughs> the, the visual of the guitar changing to different guitars was kind of cool. That was neat. He has a bunch of guitars. But musically, this is... It's pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's not um, fantastic to me. Oh, it's it, not. It's just a little, it's slightly cheese, yeah. I suppose. <laughs> and I recognize the chorus. Oh, yeah? yeah I don't. I know I've heard the chorus somewhere before. I have huh. no idea where. Yeah, I haven't heard this at all. Mm. But I'm enjoying it. It's quite good. It's just, it's kind of simple. It, yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Apparently it was a big hit in Australia. Oh, yeah? Yeah. But it is kind of a cute love song. In it. Like, it's cheese, but it's it's uh. a cute love song. It yeah. really is. Because he's like, instead of the typical rock star thing, like, don't tell anybody. He's like, I'm not, I'm not going to hide from you. I, I, mm -hmm. I love you. <laughs> you know That's what I mean? Total you want my love, you yeah. got it. And I won't hide it from anybody, pretty much. Yep. Yep. Well. Okay, what a declaration. Yeah. So cute. You must have met the right one. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when a songwriter meets a nice girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or guy. Yeah. yeah, either way. Yeah. So let's finish it. Okay. You have the secrets of love in this world. Okay, it's cheese, but it's good cheese. It's good cheese, but it's cheese, yeah. <laughs> um, the bass player. Yeah. It's not the bass player that was in the 70s. Oh. And it, it felt like he wasn't really playing the instrument. Who knows? I don't even know for sure. Was he just a replacement guy? He might have been. Mm. Oh, I didn't. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> anyway... This song, though, his vocal was really good on this. Oh, yeah. I and mean, he's always had a great vocal. I mean, that's kind of what made the, the band, really. What I find funny, though, is his choice to, like, the way he cut the notes off sometimes was so immediate. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, the, you got it. You yeah, it was such an interesting right choice. Off. And in the video, he made a point of quickly closing his mouth as if to say, there, it's cut off. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just kind of weird how he did that. Weird. But I liked it. <laughs> yeah. I said the band itself always great. I mean, I can't, yeah, I can't remember the guitarist's name or the drummer's name, but they're both fantastic. Yeah, um, bass player that wasn't the guy, so I don't know if he's good or not. And <laughs> it sounded okay. I mean, it kept up. Yeah, it's not super fancy musicianship, but it's well done. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I mean, in their earlier works, those guys were just oh, phenomenal. I know. This and is just one of their 
cheesy love songs, I suppose. It's one of the cheesy love songs, yeah. You know? Pretty much. Not as cheese as the one that I don't like so much. Oh, yeah. The Flame. Mm, I don't like that cheese. one. That one was really cheese. Was that a Diane Warren song, though? I think it was. Mm. Yeah. She did a lot in, late, in the 80s. Yeah, I think especially it the was. the late 80s. But this one is better for me than that one for sure. I don't know if that, I don't know if I'm right on that one either. <laughs> this is a better song for me. Yeah. Yeah. It's a nice song. Yeah. It's a good good sound. Really pop, but it's really good. Yeah. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed that one as much as we did. It was obviously pretty good for us. Yeah. Please don't forget to check us out over on Patreon. It's three dollars a month and we're adding things there all the time. Also, please like and subscribe to our channel and become one of our goonies. Share with your family and friends. Click that notification bell if you don't want to miss a video. And don't forget to enjoy yourself. Later. Later.